The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Of course not. The word darkness means a total absence of light. There's nothing, there's no light within the darkness, and so there's nothing that this darkness can understand about light. It knows nothing of it. John then goes on to identify the word, the Hamemra Hashem, the spoken word of the Lord, as Yeshua. John's description of God as wind in, John, in the Gospel of John, chapter 4, verse 24, and as light in his first letter, chapter 1, verse 5, is derived from Genesis. We see the wind of God hovering over the deep, and there's light revealed in the midst of this. John writes it this way. He was, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. Man is created in the image and likeness of God. He can therefore think, and he can speak. My words also define certain realities. It started with the first man, Adam. He gave names to all the animals that were in the garden. And that is what they were called then. That is what they are called now. He defined them. God and man would speak, and man would understand God's thoughts, understand his words, understand his ideas. After the fall, man became a little more sophisticated, and he noticed that there were significant differences between himself and other creatures created from Aduma, the red earth. That is what, that is where Adam's name is derived from. Adam, man, was created from Aduma, the red earth. Man could ponder the nature of his own existence. He could ponder the nature of his of, his, of the existence of other things that were around him. Other creatures don't do this. And man abandoned God's na name for man, Adam, taken from Aduma, and we began to identify ourselves, a little presumptuously, as homo sapien, which means thinking man, a man who can think. The nature of existence has consumed man's thinking for most of our history. Ontology, or man's thoughts on existence, is the fountainhead from which all other philosophies flow. They are all based on the idea of defining and isolating and understanding the nature of humans, the, the existence of human beings. 